G'day, Mark. How are you going today? Hey, I'm great. You're um, great? I'm glad oh, you are too. Yeah, fantastic, mate. Thanks uh, for talking with us today. Uh, it's an important subject, you know, we're, we're talking about the pros and cons of dating a Filipina and, you know, trying to get a little bit of advice on dating Filipina. So I've got a few questions, if you wouldn't mind me asking. Yeah, feel free. Shoot them. Now, before we jump into it, you are married to a Filipina, that's right? Correct, yes. You are married? Happily okay. married. Fantastic. I believe you've got a tattoo as well. Can we see that one? Yeah. It's an unusual one. Nina. But when you turn it around, there's my and name. And Mark, that's very sweet, mate. Very sweet. Yeah. So you must love her a lot to, yeah, right. to do I that. Do. I do. She's a, she's a one-off. And, and, and Filipinos are, you know. At my, at my age, I'm in my 50s. And I go back, if I went back to Europe, um, what am I going to get here? Um, you'll get a beautiful lady, maybe just a few years younger than you, okay? Um, they cook, they clean, they're here to please you. They're not here to argue and say do it yourself. They, they're brought up to look after wow. their partners. Well, so you reckon you can find a proper partner and, and a good wife here in the Philippines. Oh, very much so. It doesn't matter whether you're the Richard Gears of this world or whoever. They love you for you and not for your looks. Some love you for your ATM card, but that's another story. How much younger is your wife? Is she a lot younger or? No, my wife's only around, just about 10 years younger than me. Only 10 years, only okay. Only 10, which is not a lot in this uh, country. Yep. You know, I, I, I see people that are they're 40 years younger. Maybe not my cup of tea. So what, right. what's your advice to those guys that are coming who are maybe, you know, due to retire, they're you know, in their mid-50s, maybe 60s, um, you know, age bracket. What do you think is a good, well, the best age bracket to date Filipina here in the Philippines? Okay, I always think, with my opinion, young girls, they're out for their future okay on all I, I understand that but if you get somebody that's a little bit mature maybe has got a family maybe even grown up they don't want that uh, reliant on you for big financial aspects okay right. they've got their they've had their own money maybe their par uh, partners died or something like that so they want a partner for the last part of their life as well rather than be alone so it's genuine, it is real. I, I really, truly believe that, yeah. Did you ever date anyone, you know, significantly younger than yourself, Mark? Very much so. Oh, really? How when, did when, that go? Uh, that was really bad. Uh, the first time I came to the Philippines, it's like a child in a, in a sweet shop. Then the most beautiful looking things. And you do tend to go with somebody that's really, really beautiful. Maybe yes. like a trophy wife. A trophy wife. But then when you get to know them and it's money money it's eight you're an, you're a walking atm card and you need to learn that or you can blow every penny that you've got okay so this leads me to my next question do you find that filipina dating filipina is expensive depends what you want you can you can take um a, a filipino out if they're from the province and i'm not saying they're naive but they don't drink or drink a lot they don't want designer signature clothes they're quite happy with you know what you give them. they're modest Correct. and humble yes if you go to a city like manila and they're manila girls and they've been born and bred in manila they want the signature clothes the handbags right the, you know the, the gold card with their name on the gold card wow you know, um, so be careful. It's about the person. It's about the person, and you know, I was with one for a long time. You don't know how many years you can be with them five, six years, and then they turn. You know, oh, wow. It's you've got to be on your guard. They are beautiful. They really are beautiful. But you know, you've got to be on your guard. So you've you've heard shockers, some horror stories where you know men you know older men have dated younger women and they've they've taken them for everything yeah may i could write a book the people that i know personally that have lost houses oh. that have lost everything everything because obviously in the philippines it's owned by them 
Okay. Okay. You can't get divorced, so that's where I'm confused. Uh, can you get divorced in the Philippines? I think it, that uh, the president has actually signed something that divorce. But not um, yet, right? No, I think I think it's coming. But they can just walk away, they, and, and 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 because you're a foreigner. Uh, it doesn't matter how much money you spend at it with the uh, solicitors at courts, you'll never win. So if, whatever you buy, whether it's your girlfriend or, or maybe your wife, prepare to lose it. Prepare walk, to lose prepare it. Prepare to lose it and walk away. But, Apart I mean, so, from maybe Subic Bay or Clark Pampanga where you can buy in your own name or a condominium in AC or Manila? Very much so. You can do that here and it remains your own. So you recommend buying a condo over... You know, just getting off topic here, but um, you re recommend buying a condo or something in your name rather than your wife's name or a girlfriend's name? I would think for your own protection. If you've worked all your life for your money and it's not your wife, it's your girlfriend that you've known a few weeks, a few months. Yeah. Fooling his money is easily parted. Now, I, I know a story from a very, very rich banker um, that lived in Angeles and he had a fantastic house but only lived here for so many months of the year because it gets too hot and he didn't speak to his girlfriend of six years for a few weeks so he, he alarm bells and he went back he came back without telling her everything was packaged so he managed to she changed the locks he managed to get in wow and the car had gone etc but and she'd gone he managed to replace his furniture, etc. And then one day, the official guys come and said she'd sold the house. Oh, oh. So he had to buy the house back again because he loved it. Can you trust, you know? Same as Western Well, can, can you trust? Do you, do you think, you know, generally speaking, are Filipina trustworthy and are they faithful? I think so, generally. You, you have good and bad, whether no matter what nationality they're from, male and female, you know? But you've just got to trust them and work with them and get your you know your second sense if it's not right it probably isn't yeah yeah so think with your head <laughs> rather than anything yeah. else <laughs> rather than anything else so you got to think with your head find someone that is trustworthy maybe a bit more educated etc uh wow there's some fighter jets in the background there look at that oh, yeah. that's cool yeah. that's cool Sorry for the distraction, mate. Uh, yeah, back to so, business. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful here. Yeah, it's lovely oh, here. So look, um, you know, you think they're trustworthy and they're faithful. That that's good to know. Have you ever been cheated or scammed by a Filipino? Oh my word! That could. Um, how long have we got? Um, yes, I was scammed. Sorry um, to hear that. I was scammed, and I lost quite a lot of almost everything I had. Wow! And that's somebody that I did trust. So. You know, I, I, I thought I was a, a really judge of character. I made a mistake. Um, we all make allowed to make a couple of mistakes in life. And, but you, you hadn't been one. here too long too, right? No, I hadn't. Yeah. And, and um, maybe I was hoodwinked with the beautiful, uh, the, 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 the cheap alcohol, the lovely sun, the weather, and obviously the beautiful women. And she was younger. She was younger, but not too much younger than me. 20 years? She would not, um, no, she's now, I think she's almost, she's nearly 40 now, and I'm 55. So yeah, 15, 15 years. years. 15 difference. years. 15 years. Yeah, not much difference. Um, and she walked away with more than I have now. Wow. So my last question, Mark, if you wouldn't mind, do you have any tips or advice on dating Filipina? And where's the best place to find a good Filipina, one you can trust? Oh. Wow, that is a massive question. Very good question. I find just by walking around the malls, you can get some lovely girls. Around the markets, the innocent looking girls. Um, yes, there's dating agencies. That's all, always a good one where you can, you can actually pick the ones, you know, try a few out. But how do you shows. know whether you're dating online or you're dating in person or just trying to find someone, you know, in the malls? How do you know who's who's trustworthy and, and who's not. You know, you got any tips there for us? It's just a matter of um, slow. Don't jump in, don't let them, um, as they tend to do, is meet you one night and within three or four nights they've moved all the clothes into your apartment. Don't let that happen. So don't just, rush? No, no, don't rush at all. 
and that's and, and just keep your pin number to yourself <laughs> all right well thank you so much mark much appreciated thank you and congratulations to you and nina uh for getting married yeah thank you very much okay peter so what are the positives of dating a filipina well it's about as long as my arm where can i start really so look the positive thing about dating filipina is i personally feel that you can find someone that's trustworthy someone that can be faithful to you and honest with you um, you know, I know with my relationship, speaking from personal experience, me and my partner are extremely honest with one another, even if it's something that might be hard, um, you know, something that's difficult to tell uh, my partner Ari, and I'm always honest with her and I let her know the truth, as does she, and she's, she's told me some shockers, let me tell you, that's, that's the honest truth. Um, but what I find is, you know, with the honesty, honesty is really, the, the foundation of a good relationship. And with that um, honesty, we've been able to overcome, you know, numerous challenges within our relationship. Um, you know, on, on the flip side, that's a pro, um, you know, but one of the cons, you know, one of the uh, bad sides is sometimes Arian, you know, in my relationship, speaking again personally about my personal experience, Arian sometimes gives me tampo. Tampo does happen with Filipina. It's um, something that we all need to be aware of and sometimes I push too much and I'll, I'll really push her to talk. I'd, I'll, I'll say something, I want an answer back straight away. I don't like to waste time, um, you know, and I'll get upset if she ignores me or, you know, doesn't answer me back in, in a reasonable time or what I think is reasonable. But obviously we need to take a step back as men and say, hey, look, well, if a woman's doing that, they're pretty upset. If you push them too far, they might get a bit angry with you. So that's, um, you know, that's the dark side of that. The other thing with Filipina is obviously they're very beautiful. Um, you know, they've got this mixed Spanish blood and uh, Filipina blood. I think, uh, you know, Filipina do kind of look like almost Euro-Asian. Filipina are very beautiful, as you may or may not know, this year, Catriona Gray actually won Miss Universe. She is Filipina. Uh, she was representing the Philippines. But what some people don't actually know is she's a mixed baby. She's half Filipina and half Australian. So, like my, myself personally, I am from Australia. I'm an Australian citizen uh, living in, in the Philippines, and my partner's Filipina. So, obviously, you know, when I have a child, I'm very excited to have. You know, and I will be very proud to have a mixed mixed baby. I think that's a beautiful thing. I think um, you know, in, interracial uh, relationships are, are a beautiful thing. I think it's great uh, that we're you know, knocking down the boundaries. That you know, no longer are we looking at races and that we should mix with the same race. I think that's just silly. I think we should fall in love with the people that we're most attracted to and we feel most comfortable with. Okay, Peter, so what's your advice on all those guys out there who are looking to date a Filipina uh, and where, where they can find a Filipina? Look, that's a really tough question. Um, look, I've got mixed feelings on that. I know guys have had you know, relationships with bar girls and been very successful. Um, personally, I don't think it's that easy dating a girl from the bar. You know, you go to the bar, you drink almost every day, and you hope that this chick will fall in love with you. Problem being, you're not the only guy visiting the bar. So my feeling about that is, you know, those women in the bar are much, you know, likely to be unfaithful. Unfaithful. So myself personally, I think there are two places where you can actually find real good quality uh, Filipina. And the first place actually, uh, the number one I would suggest is actually online dating. Online dating, uh, there's you know numerous apps. There's uh, uh, you know Christian Filipina. There's uh, uh, Tinder, uh, Badu apps. Uh, I'm not so with it anymore because I haven't been on these sites for a long time. There's also Tag.com. Uh, lots of websites. There's even groups on Facebook and social media for Filipina looking for foreigners. So there are a lot of options for guys actually looking online and that way you can kind of fossick through 
and, and find you know someone that's suitable for you okay now some people suggest you know number two is meeting people in person I think that is also a good way to find someone but the thing is it's a bit random so this is my second thing I mean you can go down to the mall you go to the park and try and find a girl and sometimes you will and sometimes you won't obviously in this day and age you know it's not like it was 10 or even 20 years ago where you could just walk up to a person and say hey how you going some people might be a bit oh you know nervous when you do that it's just not usually done nowadays most people statistics show that most people nowadays are actually meeting online and and that's the truth i know for myself personally you know i have dated quite a few women and the most most women that I dated in, in the last like five to 10 years were all 100% from online dating. So online dating websites. And uh, actually that's where I met my, my partner now, Arian. So Peter, last question. What would your preference be? A city girl or say a girl from the province? Wow, mate, you're really throwing them at me today. This is a bit of a curveball. Hard to say either way whether I'd prefer a city girl or a country girl. Um, look, in some ways I do prefer country girls. In other ways, I prefer city girls. So what I will say is this, and this is probably the best advice I can provide, which is, look, for me personally, I want someone that is somewhat educated. So preferably has, you know, a high school diploma, um, if not, you know, a college degree. Um, you know outside of that I want someone that preferably has you know a, a stable job and income I want someone that's working um, obviously the benefits of country girls is I find they're more down to earth they don't want and desire for as much but you know that can sometimes be a bad thing too because you know I have desires in my life to achieve certain things and to work really hard. So in some ways, I do want a woman who is, you know, more independent, who's professional and, and wants to work hard. But I want I want a mix of a woman that has that and, and is professional and independent, but also can be a good partner, a good wife, a good mother, um, and I guess a good housewife so yeah it's like I am asking a lot uh, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that I can be really demanding I know my partner often tells me that I am uh, but you know I want someone that's mixed between city and country that that's my answer cool